Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher and today I'm going to be talking about an amazing new feature that DaVinci Resolve has just implemented into DaVinci Resolve 15.1 and that is auto ducking for audio. Now, if you're not familiar what auto ducking is, it's basically, you know, one of the hardest things about mixing music and dialogue is you want your music to be loud and present but obviously you want to be able to hear your dialogue. So one of the biggest things that you usually have to do is, like if we're in DaVinci Resolve, you have to cut a new track and maybe EQ that track so it kind of lets the dialogue shine through a little more and turn it down. And then you have to you know, mix those together. And it can take a lot of extra time and a lot of extra energy and work um, when you just want it to simply just move in and out as the dialogue does. Now, this was one of the few things, I mean, DaVinci Resolve has completely surpassed, in my opinion, Premiere Pro in every single way possible, um, but one of the few little features that it didn't have was this auto-ducking that Premiere did have, and I, you know, I remember auto-ducking was a really nice feature, um, but it definitely worked a little bit odd, so anyway, when I heard that DaVinci Resolve was doing this new auto-ducking and that it was officially in the release of DaVinci Resolve 15.1, I thought, all right, I gotta, you know, get in there and check this out, and I was incredibly surprised as to how versatile it is, how easy it is to use. I mean, I'm, we're talking incredibly easy. Um, and also how easy it is to tweak, but also how accurate it is. This was one thing that really blew me away. So um, just to kind of get into it, again, this is in DaVinci Resolve 15.1. Um, just make sure you go download the, the most, you know, the newest version. Um, I believe this is in the free version too. I don't think this is just the paid version. Um, but anyway, what you're going to want to do is go to your... Fairlight page right here first and what you want to do is you want to have your audio your music on one track and then your dialogue obviously on your other track so like right here audio 2 is our dialogue and audio 3 is our music now this is a wedding video and of course in wedding videos you generally have like you know a priest or someone speaking and then you have obviously music for the highlight film below so what we want to do is we want to match these now I'm going to turn off the dynamics for right now just because I have mine set. So I'm going to turn these off and then I'm going to play for you what it sounds like just raw when I just slap them in the timeline. So I'm going to get right here. Different paths with different destinations. But love has brought you together and joined these separate paths. Into so you can tell it's very hard to hear, especially when you get up into here where... Today, you also each the music's way too loud. We can't hear him speak. It's just, it's way too hard to hear anything. Um, so again, generally what I would normally do is I'd make a new track, I would put the music down there, I would lower it, I would then mix them, all this and that. But now, with auto-ducking, we don't have to do that. So what we're going to do is when we open up Fairlight, we're going to make sure our mixer's open, which if your mixer is not open, usually there's like, see up here, there's like a little button that says mixer, just click that, boom, you're good to go. Then what you're going to want to do, so I know that Audio 2 is my dialogue, so I'm going to double click on this Dynamics. Now I already have mine set up, um to the settings, but you can do this however. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click on the compressor and then click send. Now, I can't tell you what exactly these settings are gonna be because that's of course up to the audio source that you have. In my case, um, mine is slightly boosted, 4.3 in the makeup here. Um, you can kinda take a quick idea of my settings right here. These are pretty stock, I don't think I really changed these. But the key thing is clicking the send button. And what this does is it tells DaVinci Resolve, hey, this is the audio I want to send for my music to then listen to. Hence why you see this listen button. So again, just make sure that your audio or the dialogue you want or you know whatever you want to duck around is send. Then we're gonna go to our music, which in this case is audio three. And we have turn our compressor on and listen. Now again, I can't tell you what these settings are gonna be because it's, it's different for each track, of course. Um, but you can, of course, look at these, and this is what my settings are for this. Now, one thing that I did notice is you really want to work with these attack, hold, and release, because one thing that I did immediately notice is if these are too short, it'll actually duck in and out between, like, words. So if you were to say, hi there, my name, and the, between the there and my it would actually dip the music back up. So I, I would make sure that, you know, to mess with these. And again, this isn't perfect. Obviously, I could go in and probably tweak these even more. But I'll now just play for you the difference in what it makes. Join these separate paths into one. Each one of your friends and family here today have given a small stone that represents their unique... And you can hear how the audio is slightly lowering itself. And it's almost kind of doing like... It's not a full on EQ, but it feels like it is EQing it out. Like you can really hear the music nice and, and punchy and bassy, but it's dipping it down enough where we're actually, 
it's kind of getting rid of it completely. So, so that's really, really nice to have. But anyway, this is just an amazing thing. So really the key things to remember here is to make sure that your compressor is on in both tracks and that your music has listen checked and that your dialogue has send check. And again, I would mess with these settings, see what works best. Um, I would say always, you're probably going to want to use this makeup for your dialogue and pretty much keep your dialogue as is. And then it's your music you're going to have to mess with, especially these attack, hold and release uh, to kind of make sure that it just, you know, it works properly and it's dipping down where you need to. And it's also not cutting off words and stuff like that. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below if there's any other tutorials for DaVinci Resolve 15, especially in the new 15.1 release, because there's a couple new extra features. If you guys want to see it all, and be sure to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in any of the gear that I use, I also leave the link down below for my kit. Um, that kind of has all of the gear that I use um, across the board from audio to all that kind of stuff. So anyway, check that out, guys, and I'll catch you guys later.